mainstream party, but Emmanuel Macron is only 39 years old. Good morning, so starting the morning like I usually do, attempting to catch up with the world. It's just a lifelong habit that I developed. You know, I got it from my dad listening to the news. Um, you know, it made an impression on me as a little boy how my dad made a point to watch the news every day after work. And um, the news isn't the news. The news is propaganda. It is. It is not news. And um, one way to know that much of the so-called news you get is not news is to just think of this. If the bottom line of the entire society or culture or nation is profit, which it is, then put put it together with information. If my goal is to profit above anything else, then the last thing I want to do is tell you the truth about anything. The main thing I want to do is have an advantage over you and tell you what I you need to hear so that you will supply what I need, which is uh, money. Buy. So, and again, all you got to do is look it up, people. It's public um, in information. Um, the broadcast medium in America is owned by a very small group of, of, of corporations, and so it's very controlled. They own the news airwaves, and so they dictate the... Um, they mani it's, it's total manipulation, okay? You came here for music, but I gotta tell you this stuff because, because it's real and it's on my mind. And the other thing I keep thinking is that just like ideas are just like um, sparks uh, in a, from a fire, they can spread. And just like a lot of the rude, stupid, funny, frat boy kind of adolescent behavior and um, humor that ha has that caught on with our country as we supposedly loosened up well that's gone I, in my opinion it's gone too far and it's like my attempt in saying these things is in attempting to reach out to other sensible people to try to tip to uh, some of us need to try to tip the scale back the other way that's what the thought is I'm not crazy and if I'm crazy I'm glad to be crazy okay I want to say something about music, but I have no records to show, okay? So, I get this often, laments from young people. You don't ever talk about no hip-hop. What's wrong with hip-hop? You know, ain't nothing wrong with hip-hop. I'm 61 going on 62, okay? That's what's going on, alrighty? So, with that in mind, last night... I went ahead and took the time to listen to the entire new Kendrick Lamar album, Damn. Anything you want to hear, you can hear, just about. And I'll go to the next record after that, which I intend to buy. I don't intend to buy Kendrick Lamar, Damn. Here's my assessment of it. The production on it, the beats, a lot of the beats are just okay. But the imaginative scenarios that are put behind his words, like storytelling, like audio movies, I like that. Now, as you know, I don't buy records to listen to the words. I'm not interested in hearing somebody yab, 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 yab. Do I hear what people are talking about regarding Kendrick Lamar's wordplay, mind, and, and supposed genius? I do, actually. I do hear it. I do hear that he is very skillful at how he puts words together, delivers them, almost plays different parts of his personality at times in them. I love the Triple X song in that Bono, Bono's appearance is noteworthy, but he can't touch Kendrick, you know, it's still Kendrick's baby. The, the piece that made the most impression on me um, was Duckworth, the way he tells that story. Probably if I go back, you know, a lot more will hit me. The other thing I want to say is I really understand why this album resonates with young people because he's talking about the reality that we live in, which is America is still a great place for people with money and white skin, light skin, favoritism. America is still a, a graveyard in general for black people, young black people. 
um, it's a mixed bag as far as what are the answers because we're all implicated. You know what I'm saying? Not only the government and our leaders, but also we the people, we as parents, we as brothers and sisters, we're all in this mess together. And Kendrick album talks about it very clearly. You know, it's like, you know, um, one of the main things that a young black man or woman really can be dealing with is, how am I going to die? Am I going to die today? Is today, you know, the day I die at the hands of another stupid um, brother or sister um, because of some renegade um, racist cops? Um, who knows? So props to Kendrick, but I won't be buying it. And um, I'm more interested in the music. Okay, but I wanted to give that honest uh, <laughs> review. Uh, I do hear the brilliance of Kendrick, and I do understand why he is the voice of this generation. I sure do. And I give him way more props than somebody like Drake. Um, do not, I do not dig Rick Ross, okay? No, I don't. And I'm not interested in hearing more hip hop. That's the, I made this comment on Facebook, and of course, one of the first things somebody does is try to tell you about some other hip hop artists that's really on fire, and you gotta check them out. I, do, I don't really care, no. It, I'm interested in the music first, okay? With that in mind, I got another, um, I can give another review, but no record. So the new Mew album, um, Visuals, is coming out this week. But um, just like anything else, when the, when you, a pre-release goes out, you know, a promo, it becomes available. And so I heard the whole album yesterday. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love Jonas Bjerg's voice. I think that his voice puts off some people because they think maybe it's either too childlike or sensuous for a man to be listening to. Um, I don't have a problem with that. I There's the timbre of his voice I find very pleasing. And some of his wordplay, a lot of it is very... Um, impressional impressionistic to me i don't know what he means or if it means anything but Jonas will string together words that are interesting like the music that's the other thing i want to say about this album is i spoke too soon when i reviewed their re their singles saying that there's less guitar because bo's not on the album there's a whole lot of guitar on the album and really good guitar playing the overall album really impresses me the what I think is brilliant about Mew is how pop they are while being progressive at the same time. Something the band said early on is that they wanted to write songs that are not predictable, that will take, that will sonically and melodically take directions that unexpected. And they're good at that, and this album is chock full of it, but done well. As well as just ideas of like, what is this? Where is this coming from? I really think that Mew are brilliant. They truly are one of my favorite bands and I can't wait to get the, the vinyl just to own it. But those are two reviews that I can give you. No vinyl to show you, but the new Kendrick Lamar and the new Mew. Um, another thing that I'll pass on before I forget is people will drop me a note letting me know about the passing of other artists. And I speak about the artists that matter to me. I appreciate people telling me but I don't feel an obligation to report to you every time someone dies, especially if they had no significance to me personally in my life. What brings this up is uh, how um, recently Cuba Gooding, Cuba Gooding Sr. of the main ingredient passed away. That is the actor Cuba Gooding Jr.'s dad. Um, the main ingredient had some good hits. They were good at what they did, but do I have any of the records? No, and so was that death have did it have any significance to me personally no but but do i respect them of course and rest in peace cuba as i say you know i do a, 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 i do mix up music personal and politics and i always will i think it's important to keep po pointing out how we have really slid really down uh the pole of of um of culture um, where just it's, it's, it's common for adults to act like children, you know, squabbling, fighting, literally fighting. Um, my side versus your side. Um, uh, 
fewer adults being able to look above their own personal interests to try to be objective about things. That's a big part of what I see we have lost in succeeding generations. Um, we need it back, you know, we need it back bad. It'll come back, usually the way it happens is in, 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 in history, something cataclysmic happens and then we have to start over, which is probably what will happen again. But some of us, I am including myself, who can see this, know that, well, as long as we're conscious, we do have a chance to save ourselves or turn it around. So I speak up, you know, a pebble on a sand, a, 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 a tiny grain of sand on a beach of billions, you know, may not make any difference, but I do it anyway. If nothing else for my own sanity, my own sanity.